Companies that engage in knowledge management often do so because they want to become or be a so-called learning organization. In other words, they want to further develop their organizational knowledge base in a targeted manner. This is an essential characteristic of a learning organization. But what exactly is this organizational knowledge base? Most people probably first think of an organization's data and documents, that is, its codified knowledge. And of course, this is an essential part of its knowledge base. But what would all these documents be without the people who are able to use this knowledge for their decisions and actions? The knowledge in the heads of employees, known as personal knowledge, is also part of the organizational knowledge base. In a sense, personal knowledge is the active asset, while documented knowledge is more of a passive asset. The organizational knowledge base therefore consists of the entirety of the organization's so-called knowledge artifacts, its documented knowledge, and the knowledge in the heads of the employees, the personal knowledge. Then, there are the processes and structures, the crystallized know-how of the organization, so to speak. These are also part of the organizational knowledge base. They give shape to this shared knowledge space. The whole is more than the sum of its parts. The organizational knowledge base cannot simply be understood as the sum of all the individual knowledge bases in the organization nor can it be reduced to the simple availability of its documented knowledge. Rather, it manifests itself in a permanent and dynamic interplay between externalized, tacit and implicit knowledge, between individual and collective knowledge, conscious and unconscious. And finally, it is present in shared visions, values, culture and goals. It influences our decision-making processes. On the one hand, superficially via the documented knowledge that is used as the information basis for decisions, as well as via the structures and processes of the organization. On the other hand, via less conscious decision-making moments such as implicit routines, hidden heuristics, the prevailing culture, etc. Seen in this light, the organizational knowledge base is also idiosyncratic. It is the place where organization-specific sense-making happens, it influences the perception filters and interpretation grids of the organization and its members. It contributes to how they perceive themselves and their environment. The targeted and purposeful development of the organizational knowledge base is a challenging task.